welcome. Today I'm going to be talking about losing your stirrups. Why does this happen? And more importantly, how do we solve it? So first off, the first thing I want to practice for safety is taking my feet out of the stirrups and being able to catch them without looking at them. This is really important if I lose my stirrups that I can feel exactly where they are and I don't have to spend too much time to catch them again. So once you've practiced this at a standstill and you're doing this by just feeling with your toe, you're wiggling your ankle until you catch your foot, your stirrup, and then bringing your leg back underneath you. Once you practice at a standstill, you're gonna walk your horse off and you're gonna practice at the walk. Can I take my feet out of the stirrups, stay looking ahead, feel for my stirrups and just catch them again. And again, drop my feet out of the stirrups, feel for them and catch them again. You can practice this at a walk and then if you feel comfortable, you can practice that at a trot and even at a canter. It's just a wonderful exercise to really get confident and being able to catch those stirrups in any situation without having to search for them. So now let's talk about what are some things we can do to help solve this issue? When we're gripping with our leg, it's usually because we're trying to hold on with our leg. And when we're bracing, it's because we're trying to balance in our feet. So what we have to do here is we have to teach our, ourselves how to be able to balance in our core instead of in our legs and our feet. So to do this, you're gonna start by taking your feet out of the stirrups and you're gonna bring your, your legs forward and check that you can feel both your seat bones here. You're gonna engage your core here down to your seat bones, and then you're gonna take your feet, your legs, and lay them straight down and just bend your knee. You're gonna find your stirrups and practice, whoops, practice when you're doing that, being able to keep this core engaged and keep that balance more in the seat bones. You have a nice open knee. You should feel like your foot's just resting in that stirrup. So I've got a nice relaxed ankle. My ankle can help absorb the shock of the motion along with my knee. My final tip is if you're only losing one stirrup, you're just losing your right or your left, typically this is happening because you're sitting uneven in the saddle. So you're sitting to the left or you're sitting to the right as opposed to sitting centered in the saddle. So how do we get to the place where we can sit more centered in the saddle? Well, it's important that we can bring our attention back to our core. Typically we're sitting uneven because we're gripping with one leg. So for me, I tended to lose my right foot a lot and that's because I was gripping a little bit more with my right thigh. I'm very right eye dominant and I was releasing with my left. So in my case, I had to really work on relaxing my thigh and not wanting to use my thigh to support me, especially when my horse spooked or reacted, and really concentrate on bringing my attention to my obliques here and to letting my, you know, my left side of my core connect and engage. We work diagonally, so we're working from you know, this core to this leg. So because my left leg was weaker, my right side of my core tended to be a little bit weaker. So I had to work on being able to feel like I could let this side of my leg be be down and, and supportive and relaxed and really feel that my core was connected and balanced on this side. And that helped me to stay more centered in the saddle and really allowed me to keep my stirrups more even and consistent. So I hope these tips are a help to you. If you are working on trying to keep your stirrups, you're struggling with losing your stirrups, if there's any tips that you would like to add that have helped you out, I would love to hear what they are. You can let me know in the comments below. I hope you keep enjoying your horses over this next week, and I'll see you in the next video.